In this video, we will be changing the valve stem on my wheelbarrow tire. It dry rotted, broke apart, and we'll be starting with breaking the tire bead free from the rim. There's a few videos on YouTube showing how to replace the valve stem, but all of them start with the tire already removed from the rim, and that doesn't exemplify a real life situation, so we're gonna start, show you how to do that. All you're gonna need is a standard clamp. This one works out well, because I can grip it up top and push down on the clamp, make sure it stays close to where the tire and rim meet. Make sure your clamp is not compressing on the rim itself. And just on the tire. So did one half, remove the clamp, reposition it on the other side of the tire and do the same. You know what? No need. Such a small wheelbarrow tire, breaking the bead in one spot, release the entire tire from the rim. This side didn't break free. We can work at it again with the clamp, but we really only need to be able to see the inside of the rim and get at the hole for our tire valve, putting our new one there, so we're good to go. Actually, for demonstration purposes, we'll go ahead and remove the other side and with a flathead screwdriver. Wedge the screwdriver in between the tire and the rim, push back, have the tire fold down, give you more access to work along the rim and pry it away. that in one motion. Worked the way around the tire and towards the end it just broke free. In the same motion with the screwdriver, we can get under. Under and over, run the screwdriver around. Pop the tire off the rim here. Now we can work freely, insert the new valve stem into the hole. Now our Canadian tire to grab some new valve stems. Get up the automotive section, grab any old tire valve, the ones for our vehicles will work with the wheelbarrow rim just fine. And if you don't already have a clamp, like I was using this uh, six inch clamp here, 12 bucks. We'll do the trip. Now it's time to install the valve. I like to lube it up. I use the same uh, synthetic grease that I use for doing the brakes in the car, whatever you have at home. As long as it's not gonna break down the rubber, something silicone is great. Make sure to get it into the grooves. there, reach around on the other side, I have a little trick, I have this little tool for changing the, the valve core, it screws on top of the thread apart, it gives you something better to pull on, and then take a pair of pliers, You see that there on either side and use the rim as leverage and there we go just wiggle it makes easy work of that make sure that's in perfect 
perfect. Unscrew this little tool, it's about five bucks at Canadian Tire. You can grab onto it with some pliers, it's just uh, makes much easier work. Now that the valve stem is in, time to put the tire back on the rim. Much easier than trying to take it off. Now time to fill it up with some air. I have seen online where people use a bicycle pump to seat their wheelbarrow tire. But I have the air compressor here, so that's what we'll use. You can also take the tire to your local gas station and we'll add air until we hear the pop. That's the sound confirming the tire has seated. There was no satisfying pop. At least not that I heard. The tire is completely sealed and seated to the rim. I don't know if you saw there though. At one point, I pushed down on the tire to assist the air in pushing the tire sidewalls out to meet the rim. Um, sometimes if you have further trouble, you can put a ratchet strap around the circumference of your tire and tighten that down nice and tight so then there's nowhere to go but out to the sides when the air is filling up and it'll push the sidewalls out up against the rim. There you have it. Hope you uh, found it helpful and uh, please like, subscribe, support this channel. Appreciate it.